All right, you've got some new equipment to show off tonight. Can yeah. help us all kind of mm -hmm. understand what kind of weather's heading our way? This is very exciting, especially as we head into severe weather season here in southeastern Wisconsin. This is Severe Weather Awareness Week. We'll mm -hmm. have more on that coming up at 12 News at 6. But one, we have a great new severe weather tool. We kind of unveiled it last week because mm -hmm. we had a lot of severe yes, weather we and we mm -hmm. had it. So we thought, well, we should probably be using this. And you'll see a lot more of this as we head throughout the upcoming weeks. And it's not only a severe weather tool, we also have a new way of doing forecasting as well. But it is the Doppler 12 radar network. And one of the first things that you'll notice on your screen, well, there's a whole lot of sweeps going on. That's because we're now using five different Doppler radars to show you what's happening here in Wisconsin and in southeastern Wisconsin. So we have not only our live radar on the top of Community Memorial Hospital in Menominee Falls, we're also using the National Weather Service uh, out of Chicago, as well as across. Uh, Sullivan, Wisconsin, out in Jefferson County, as well as in Green Bay. So this really gives you one a first view and a very unique view of these storms as they're moving in. We also have three-dimensional features of what's happening. So you'll see the sweeps moving through. And again, this is live information, not only from our radar, but also from the National Weather Service radar. It's called what we call Live Level 2 radar. So we can get the information just as fast as the Weather Service does, and we'll be able to put this on there. Of course, on a night that you unveil it, you would like to have something to see, but we don't have anything going on. But this is just the beginning of some of the tools that we have out there. I also want to show you, as we press the 12 here, watch what happens on the side of your screen. Up pops a little menu. We can do a lot of different things, including zooming in, storm tracking. We can show you the current conditions. I want to do that for you right now. As we press in and show you what's going on, up pops a little box, and you can see your current temperature, no matter where you are. Every little town in southeastern Wisconsin is here. Hartford, Addison, uh, temperature there coming in through us at 53. Lomira right now at 54. The key is, as you get closer to the lake, well, guess what? Temperatures have gotten a little bit cooler there. So we can pop one of those down. As you go inland, temperatures do get a little bit warmer, all the way up to 57 degrees. And we can pick this up again as we head around Milwaukee, out into Waukesha County, around Palmyra. So let's extend a little bit closer into Waukesha to North Prairie right now at 53. And again, once you get near the lake shore, it does get a little bit cooler. Let's zoom you in a little bit farther into Milwaukee and we can seriously zoom you in. Now this is not exactly what was supposed to happen. Don't you love new stuff? This is a picture from the Bradley Center. They just changed from the outside shot of the Bradley Center to the new picture of the Bradley Center. Thank you very much Bradley Center. We appreciate that greatly. Things are going so well. All right, let's talk about what's happening with our satellite and radar combination. And uh, we'll take a look at what's been going on around the country. We've got high pressure in control of our weather around here. So it's actually been fairly quiet. One little storm system cruising through parts of uh, Virginia as well as into North Carolina. As we head into Milwaukee, things are nice and quiet. Clear all day today. It was a beautiful day, but look at the difference here. Temperature in Milwaukee, 48 62 degrees in Madison, so a huge difference going on there. We also have a new way of giving you the forecast temperatures for tonight. These are actual sky conditions. We'll be clear as we head throughout the night tonight. Temperatures falling back down into the 30s, and we can zoom you into a couple of areas and watch as the temperatures will come on. These are your high temperatures for tomorrow near the lakeshore, right around 50 degrees. As you go inland a little bit, it gets warmer, but all the way up to 57 degrees. The expected high temperature in Waukesha Eagle at 61, Delafield at 60, and 60 in McGuanago, 51 degrees degrees again in Milwaukee around the rest of southeastern Wisconsin near the lakeshore in the 50s only at 60 degrees if you go well inland. Here's your new weather watch 12 week ahead. We start you off for the first three days. A couple of showers moving in on Wednesday and Thursday. Here's the rest of your weather watch 12 week ahead. Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Temperatures a little on the chilly side for this time of year and one of the newest features that we have here we like to focus in on the weekend. Don't all of us? Saturday is Earth Day and Sunday the Brewers are in town all weekend. But the Sunday game is a 105 start versus the Cincinnati Reds, and there should be plenty of sunshine. So I hope you enjoyed the unveiling of the new WeatherWatch 12 graphics.